A May study in the journal Pediatrics found that the percentage of children aged 2 to 17 who are obese increased to 15.4% in June to December 2020, compared with 13.7% in the year earlier data. Researchers at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia analyzed pre-pandemic and pandemic body mass index calculations for more than 500,000 visits to doctor offices in 2019 and 2020. We found a pretty striking increase in obesity rates, says Brian Jensen, the first author of the study and a pediatrician at Children's Hospital. The data indicates that the percentage of children categorized as overweight grew to about 16% from about 14%. Dr. Jensen told the Wall Street Journal, although those numbers weren't published in the study, which focused on obesity, he said that the biggest increase was in children aged 5 to 9. Their obesity rate went to 16.8% from 14.2%. Children and adolescents from lower-income households and those who are Latino also showed larger-than-average increases. Doctors say they're seeing normal-weight children become overweight or even obese, as many are going to their doctors for the first time since the pandemic began. And the results are alarming. Overweight children become obese, and obese children add even more weight. Doctors also report increases in weight-related health conditions in children, including high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and fatty liver disease. And some children with prediabetes are being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. At the Ideal Pediatric Management Clinic at Children's National Hospital in Washington, D.C., many of the children with obesity gained 20 to 30 pounds during the pandemic. Like many adults, kids are snacking more and they're moving less. The problem is of epidemic proportions. And my concern is that with this behavior, their immunity will become even weaker. And whether it's during the next flu season or worse, another pandemic, even more lives become at risk.